Survivor Plus is a major international research and innovation project bringing together many participants from several countries coming from practitioner background and the research community. Trial 1 is about the international cooperation in cross-border environment in the situation where we have the crisis which is close to the border and uh, we are trying to understand how the uh, technical solutions uh, such as uh, common operational picture can improve coordination of activities on both sides of the border. The scenario is a massive release of a toxic liquid from a reservoir, which is very close to the reality because the scenario is based on the previous emergencies which happened in Europe already. There was a heavy rainfall through a couple of days. There was the maintenance problem in the factory. In the development of the scenario, this is the mixture which is called the red mud. The bridge in the embankment is over there. In crisis management situations, it's very important to have a common operational picture and uh, raise awareness to all stakeholders involved uh, in uh, managing this crisis to get a good view over what's really happening. Uh, and 3DI gives a, a very good overview of how a flood is evolving and how the water actually flows during a flood. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very intuitive to use it uh, yeah. and it's interactive so you can uh, easily change something while the simulation is running. Uh, for example, if you want to breach a dike you can just breach it or you can add uh, a discharge point if you want to add even more water uh, and it's really fast and accurate. Testbed is a set of software applications. One function is to link up solutions together, so they can do data exchange. We can also link up simulators, such that we can use a, a fictive, a virtual incident, very realistically for testing out things or maybe exercising. And a third function is that it provides a, a digital scenario script and observation templates, which we can control the trial very well and get as much observation data out of it that we need for evaluation. This is not sufficient, this information. Maybe we should call them back. We received information that uh, 25 buildings have been affected. What is the population which can be affected? It is not only about trialing the solutions, it is also about trialing the actual driver plus approach, about methodology. Each of the trials is expected to feed the further trials to ensure that we are learning from the way we are approaching this problem. Trial is in fact a kind of experiment. We want to have the relevant answers to difficult sometimes questions which allow us to tell, okay, this or that solution can give us the additional uh, value to the crisis management process. We want to have the uh, qualitative and uh, quantitative data. So this needs a very strict procedures, uh, which only the science, the only the research can describe and give to make it repeatable for everyone. And this is also the aim of the project. Practitioners, these are really people in the front line when there is emergency and disaster. And on the work of practitioners depends how many lives will be saved, uh, uh, what kind of uh, critical protection infrastructure will be saved also from being damaged. So they have to react very quickly to very quickly evolving situation. They have to take quick decision and the right decision. So they have to be equipped with appropriate innovative tools, which facilitate very much the decision-making process. And this is the objective of the trials, to strengthen our preparedness and our abilities to respond more effectively to the future disasters. So I think this is extremely uh, useful tool for ISDR, and I hope that they will make full use of it.